Well, wouldn't you know it, we woke up to some more snow here in Nova Scotia. I don't think, I don't think spring's ever gonna come. It's technically spring, but it sure as hell doesn't look like it. It's not too cold out, it's only minus one, <clears throat> so that's not too bad, but yeah, we keep getting these warm days and the snow melts down a little bit and then we get more so we're not getting too far ahead but anyway that's not what this video is about I'm doing some uh, virus scans on my computer malware scans and stuff like that and uh, in the meantime I thought I'd use my Hackintosh to uh, go online but I have it booted and uh, there's the result there there's no uh, input on the television so the way I have this hooked up is it's hooked to DVI uh, on the video card and the DVI cable has a converter on it that goes to uh, HDMI and it's hooked into the HDMI on the TV and there's only one HDMI input so I can't try another one <coughs> so anyway I have this old monitor and I have this television here too, this little 15 inch uh, 12 volt TV and this is a different one from the last one that I had the other one was a 19 inch and uh, I gave that to my my ex's uh, mom and she's using it, she she likes it the only thing that's kind of a pain in the butt for her is it doesn't have a remote but, but anyway if uh, that monitor doesn't work through a DVI I'll try it on this uh, little TV through VGA and if none of that works then it's definitely a problem with the Hackintosh so I don't know it's a toss-up whether it would be better for it to be a problem with the Hackintosh or a problem with the TV but anyway let's uh, get this thing hooked up and we'll see what happens so I'm gonna just set the camera down I'm not gonna film any of the unhooking and all that stuff I'll just come back when it's hooked up and we'll see if it works alrighty so the Hackintosh is turned off and the and the monitor is hooked up, so let's hit the power button. And as you can see, the light came on for the DVD. And nothing. Nothing so far on that uh, monitor. Hmm. Well. Alrighty then. So what we'll have to do, I guess, is uh, take the Hackintosh apart and just see if maybe maybe it got bumped or something and the, the video card came loose. So we'll reseat the video card and try it again. And uh, if that doesn't work, then I'll have to try a different video card in it. So I have the Hackintosh all unhooked and I have it on a little table here so it's easier to uh, work on and I'm just using my dollar fifty or whatever it was uh, lithium ion drill to uh, remove some screws if you haven't seen the video I have I have a video on my channel where I got this at a yard sale works perfect too batteries are in good shape and everything alrighty then so I'll try to get you a little bit closer view but the zoom on this camera is digital so it's kinda of crap That's pretty 
probably as good as we're going to get. So here's a video card. And that's an HD6450. I think this is a gigabyte card, if I'm not mistaken. We have all kinds of crap in the way, but it shouldn't shouldn't be too hard to get out. <clears throat> oh, well, I'll be damned. I guess I got to take that out too, because for some stupid reason I wrapped the fan cable around the VGA um, extension cable thingy. Alright. I don't even know if my other card will fit in this thing. Hmm. Well, at first glance, there doesn't appear to be anything wrong with the card. But you can't really tell just by looking. Alrighty, so the Hackintosh is hooked back up. Everything I took out of it is back in. And it's hooked up exactly the way it was before, so uh, DVI from the computer. And there's a converter cable hooked to the DVI cable that converts it to HDMI for the television. So everything's back to the way it was. And let's give it a try and see if... See if just reseeding all that stuff and cleaning some dust out made any difference. I'm hoping it did because I use this every whap. Oh, there we go. I use this every once in a while, and it would be shitty not to have that working. So I'll let it boot to the login screen just to make sure. And it shouldn't really take too long to to boot even though it's got a really ancient hard drive in it. So that goes to show I guess that uh, it's not always a serious problem. Sometimes you just have to reseed a few things and uh, I'm not sure why that happens but I've been messing around with that, moving it around and stuff lately quite a lot since I got this new desk so I figure that's probably why it just something jiggled a little bit loose and uh, it just didn't boot so anyway so there we go we're back in and uh, my son will be happy about that because he plays Minecraft a lot on this computer I'll log in and just show you the specs of this thing because I haven't uh, haven't showed the specs of uh, this computer lately and I built it quite a while ago so most of you guys might not have seen the video if you did maybe you don't remember so let's put this thing on macro and there's what version of OS 10 it's running. Uh, 2.34 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, 4 gigabytes of RAM. Eh, it's not that great, but it does everything I need a Hackintosh to do, so I don't plan on upgrading anytime soon, except for maybe the old hard drive. But anyway, I'm going to go and. Uh, you guys have a good one, and if you feel like it, check the channel out and subscribe and maybe leave a comment or a like or something, and uh, have a good one, and I'll talk to you guys later.